Howdy y'all and welcome to another Longhorn Tactical video, and today we're looking at the Javlog coming from Olight. It's the newest long throw light in their arsenal, and despite only being around 5.5 inches long, its beam can reach a pretty crazy 798 yards, so stick around as we check out this light. And now unboxing the contents up here on the desk for you, let's see what's included with your purchase of the Olight Javla. Well, first off, obviously, the Olight Javla itself, and it's going to be coming with the included Olight 21700 size battery, which is going to have a 5,000 milliamp hour capacity. However, this is going to be the Olight proprietary battery type. And as you saw in the time lapse, the Javlock comes pre-packaged in this molded holster, which is very snug to the light. I love how snug it is in it while very easily coming out. And this has a hole in the bottom so that way you can more easily charge it with the included MCC3 magnetic charging pad, which you can just snap right there. I mean, obviously, whenever it's actually out of the plastic. Also, the Javlock comes with a two-way pocket clip, which is going to be very nice for all the ways that you want to carry it. And then also at the very back of the box, the user manual and your safety warnings. And now let's take a quick overview looking at the build of the Olight Javlock. Starting up here at the bezel, it's going to have this kind of crowned crinulated strike bezel, which is going to have this blue metallic look to it. It's very cool. I like how Olight does its bezels. And now giving you a look down the barrel, looking at that, it's going to have a high performance LED, which is going to have a cool white hue to it, according to Olight. We don't know the exact type because Olight doesn't usually give that out, but they say it's high performance, so I guess I'll believe them. And that's going to be recessed in that large polished reflector. And now continuing to move down the light, we're going to take a look at the side switch here, which is going to be fully metal. And as you can see, the battery indicator is going to be embedded in the side switch of which the key is on screen now. And as you saw in the unboxing, the Javlot does come with a two-way pocket clip. And as well as the pocket clip being two-way, there are two clip channels, both at the front and the back of the light, where you can attach it for whatever style of carry you want. The Javlot has that traditional one millimeter deep thick knurling. However, the pattern in it is going to be new. It's going to look like a basketball or a baseball almost with these arcs spanning all across the body of the light. And finishing us off back here at the tail switch, this is going to be the new style of tail switch that Olight has been releasing with all of their lights for the past couple of months now. And it's going to be very nice. I mean, you can rub off all the shavings and whenever you get your charging pad, it will start red and then whenever it's fully charged, it will turn green. And now on to the operation guide of the Olight Javlot. This feels like a lot of other Olights. The side switch is used for the nitty gritty accessing all the modes, whereas the tail switch is used for more broad use and it will make more sense as we get into it. And so to turn the light on, all you have to do is press the side switch and now it's on. And to cycle between your low, medium and high, all you have to do is hold the side switch. And let's say that the high output isn't cutting it for you. All you have to do is double tap and now you will enter your turbo output. And let's say that your turbo output isn't doing it for you and someone's coming at you in some sort of way. All you have to do is triple tap and now you will enter your strobe. And for something a little bit less intense than strobe to enter your moonlight while the light is off, hold the side switch until it comes on. And then if you wanna cycle back into your normal operation, hold the side switch again, and then you will enter your low, medium, and high. And if you need to go ahead and lock out this light for travel, all you have to do is while the light is off, hold the side switch, pass the moonlight, and then you will see the moonlight will go off while you're still pressing it. And as you can see, this light is locked out and it will give you that little red indicator to show as such. And to unlock the light, all you have to do is the same thing over again. Just hold the side switch and it will enter its moonlight mode. And now moving on from the side switch to the tail switch, if you were to half press it, it will enter the low output and then full pressing it will enter the high output. And on the tail switch, both of these have a momentary. So if I were to full mash onto the high and then keep on pressure, it will go away as soon as I release pressure if I hold it for more than just the click. And then if I, I can do the same for the low output by just holding pressure, and then as soon as I release pressure, it will go away. And that's about all whenever it comes to operation. The side switch is going to be a little bit more EDC geared, giving you a lot of control of a lot of different lighting modes whereas the tail switch is going to be a little bit more intuitive, so that way it's pretty easy to mash to get to that high where it's 
you know, momentary and the same for that low output, giving you a lot of control just at your fingertips. And now for my favorite part, the specs. Looking at the moonlight setting, it's going to be a 0.5 lumen output and it will be going for 72 days. The low output is going to be 15 lumens for seven and a half days. The medium brightness is going to be outputting 150 lumens for 30 hours. The high setting is going to be outputting 650 lumens for 170 minutes before dropping down to 250 lumens for 120 minutes. And finally, the turbo is going to be outputting 1,350 lumens for two minutes before stepping down to 600 lumens for 155 minutes. And at this turbo brightness, it has a throw of 798 yards with a candela of 134,000. The Javelot boasts an IPX8 waterproof rating with 1.5 meters of impact resistance. It's 5.43 inches long and the bezel is 1.57 inches in diameter and it weighs 6.95 ounces. And now as for my personal thoughts on the Olight Javelot, first of all, I think the advertising is very misleading as even though it says 1,350 lumens on the package, it looks so much brighter than that. In the real world, it looks like 3,000, almost 3,500, just because of how focused that beam is. And it's really impressive, especially coming off of how compact this frame is. As well as that, I also really like the holster that this comes with. It's going to be extremely snug. As you can see right here, I can shake it around and it's not coming out. It has that charging port on the bottom where you can attach the uh, magnetic charger. And as well as that, it has this really nice clip channel right here. So not only can you get more grip on it whenever you're pulling it out, but if you have the clip on the back, then it'll just slide on there. The clip will be outside of the holster. And no matter how you press it or squeeze uh, the holster, it won't accidentally turn on. It's molded perfectly to where it won't accidentally activate the light in the holster. This is ingenious design. I love this holster. Like with most new oil lights, this is going to be coming with a full metal tail switch, which is going to be pretty easy to clean off just by running your thumb along it. However, I will say that this light doesn't really seem to want to hold its entire weight. And I wish that maybe with like the Warrior X4, we could have seen a USB-C slot with it. But again, there's no massive design flaws overall. And I'm always going to like that clean wireless charging. One thing that I wish the Javelot was a little bit better at is its overall run times, as it uses a 21700 size cell, and while we don't know the LED, its outputs are going to be pretty all right. It's nothing insanely bright that's gonna be eating up the battery life. And so I just wish that the run times was a little bit higher. However, I'm gonna say that about pretty much any light that I come across. So take this with a grain of salt. The Javelot side switch is also going to be a fair bit less tactile than other Olight side switches. I don't know if I just got a lemon, but whenever I first started flipping through the modes on this, it really felt a little bit more airy than other side switches. So I'll let you hear the difference here. This is going to be the Javelot. And then getting the Warrior Mini 3 behind me up close to my mic, this is what it's going to sound like. And so you can hear the difference, how the Warrior Mini 3 is going to have a very more uh, pronounced sound to the side switch, whereas the Javelot is going to be a lot more muted. It feels a little bit more airy, a little bit more squishy. And so if you like that, more power to you, but I like things that really click. And lastly, I'm not sure the physics behind this, but this has an almost I-shaped hotspot, which I find very cool. And the tint is going to be the slightest bit green. I wouldn't say to the degree of the MH12 Pro from Nightcore, but it seems like the round LED that they used for this light is going to give it a slight green tint and its beam shape is going to almost look like an eye, which I personally think is pretty cool. Well guys, that's about all I have to say on the Olight Javelot. I know that they've put out a lot of Javelots before, but this is going to be the first only Javelot. So what do y'all think? Make sure to comment down below. I want to thank y'all so much for watching here to the end. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and we will see you in the next one.